Good morning, everybody. It is bright and early. Oh, I was gonna say bright and early on Monday morning. It's not, it's like 11.45 or something. But um, we are just heading out of our hotel. Today is kind of like a travel day. We're heading to the Cotswolds, checking into our cottage. We're so excited. Ooh. We're renting a car and I'm driving, like. You're gonna do great. I'm scared, <laughs> but I think it's gonna be fine. fine. Fabulous. Thank you. Um, and today was very weird because we went, we got home back to the hotel at like, I don't know, just before midnight. And then we called our moms because it was only like, I don't know what, 4 p.m. or something back in Arizona. Um, so we were like talking to our moms on the phone, finally fell asleep at one, woke up at three, was up until six, and then fell back asleep. And at 10, which I think is like checkout time here at the hotel, but that's the other thing, sorry, rewind, back up. When we got to this hotel, the person at the check-in was like, hey, by the way, when you leave, we, we gave you late checkout. So you can, you know, stay until 1 p.m. on the day of your checkout. We were like, oh, amazing. And because of the jet lag, like, I mean, if you know me in real life, I don't wake up past 6 a.m. like ever. And, you know, just with jet lag and stuff, I was knocked out like fast asleep and my alarm was set for 11. Well, at like 10, after 10, 10, 15, something like that, I was dreaming and I was dreaming that, that I heard like a little knock on the door and then all of a sudden the door opened and someone was in our hotel room. And it was, I think someone from housekeeping and I was, I just go, hello? And they were like, sorry. And then they just left. And I was just like, what? What? And Drew and I, like, we were both like shaking. Like, I was dead asleep. Like, I'm telling you, dead asleep. And so I just sat there and I was like, okay, like, that was so weird. And I had been awake at like 3 a.m. And I was thinking, I really need to start buying those little like lever things that you put underneath the front door when you stay in a hotel because I was like, anyone could just walk in here. But I just had that thought. And then it literally happened. It was just so bizarre. So I called the front desk and I was like, hey, sorry to bother you. I was just like, someone just like came into our room and they were like, oh, we're so sorry. Like, let's call you back. And then they called back and they were just, I mean, what are they gonna do? I don't know, but they were just like, they're, it wasn't a member of the public, so. I was just like, well, okay. So anyway, that's all. Now we're gonna head to get some coffee, um, go to the train station, get the hell out of the hotel, and oh my God, Jasmine just texted me, how are you both doing? And I'm gonna tell her what happened and she's gonna freak out. And then we'll get on with the rest of our day. We're excited. We have a little pub dinner tonight that's gonna be fun. We're staying in like a little small town and it's just gonna feel like the holiday. I just know it, so let's do it. the elevator to the exit it's the lift to way out <laughs> I love it we made it off our train we're in like a random area near where our Airbnb is oh uh, I love the countryside I already feel like at home it just feels so so good here but we're just so happy to be here now we're gonna get our rental car and head to our Airbnb Okay, so it's actually like a few hours later. We left the train station, picked up our rental car, which is right here. It's actually quite cute. I drove for the first time in England. It was a little scary. Here's me and my baby. And she is like a Hyundai something or other. And um, as you can see, we are definitely not in London anymore. We are out in the countryside. I will say driving on these back country roads is a little terrifying because everything is like narrow. It's small. I'm on the other side of the car, the other side of the road, but I think I did pretty good. We'll see how tomorrow goes. But um, we are on like the outer edge of the Cotswolds and we just got to our Airbnb and I almost started crying. I think this is like the cutest most idyllic little thatched roof cottage that i could ever dream of like it's the cottage of my dreams so i wanted to show you a little tour because as you know i'm a big fan of like escape to the country the holiday the cotswolds in general i love so so much and this is quite literally my dream so um here she is i can't 
I can't. I literally can't. So, okay. I'm gonna take you on a little tour. Here we go through our front gate. There's a lockbox that has the key. This is the key. Like, are you joking me? I'll link this Airbnb down below. By the way, it is so precious. Like, every little thing about it, I'm obsessed with. So, let's go in. So, okay, right when you walk in, oh, I love the old creaky hardwood floors. Right when you walk in, you have this amazing window, these cute wall sconces, and all this amazing art. This is so precious. This is like the coziest, cutest, little, perfect country cottage. I'm obsessed. So, love all the furniture. We already put down some of our stuff. Here is the TV, and then we have the, like, fireplace area. I don't think it's cold enough to light a fire maybe tonight i'm not sure i love these bookshelves and how they're styled i just think it's so cozy there's even a little dog bed or like if you bring a little furry friend with you amazing i love these wall sconces i actually desperately need them in my life hello i'm living my best life then you walk through a little door into the kitchen and the host had set out some little tea mugs for us with spoons and the tea and the biscuits we have like a little bread box that is adorable little cutting board the fridge is in here and it's just like a tiny little fridge but the host came by and brought us some fresh milk and i just thought that was so sweet for our um for our teas and stuff we also did make a grocery run so we got some strawberries some yogurt for the morning and then we each got a meal deal and i really wanted to film that but we were ravenous and like i was a little stressed out driving so that was delicious for lunch oh i can turn on the light in here actually there we go we have a washer and dryer i think it's like all in one and i actually think we will do some laundry when we're here oh there's a fly I think we might actually do some laundry over here. We have a tiny little oven, which is perfect. We're not gonna use it, but so cute. We have a little hob. This is our bag that we got at Waitrose. Here's our Waitrose haul. We got some Cabernet for tonight. We got some cheddars to take home with us. Jammy Dodgers, of course, a necessity. We got some custard creams. These giant thing of custard creams was 75 pence. That's so cheap and amazing. We also saw that they have Biscoff cream biscuits so like biscoff with biscoff cream in the middle that sounds incredible we got some yorkshire tea i drink decaf so we got that they probably have like other stuff as well this is probably yeah this is probably the stuff that drew will drink it's probably more authentic we got some sports mix juicies i ate those while i was driving for anxiety purposes. And then we just have like some cute storage, dishes, little pantry needs, some more, oh my God, more dishes, glasses, knives, sink, everything you could need really. Is this is a dishwasher. Oh my God, they have everything. Drew literally wants to live here. How was the bathroom? So tight. <laughs> I thought my knees were like in my chest. Okay, so that's the downstairs. Now I'm going to show you the upstairs. Yes, I do. So you have this amazing staircase with like, this looks like a museum. This is just so freaking cool. So, okay, let's head upstairs. There's two bedrooms and one bathroom. First of all, I love this bookshelf for this little built-in inside of the staircase. Incredible. We love it. There's cool, funky art. I like how everything is kind of really decorated and it feels very homey. Or as they would say in the UK, homely, which actually means like ugly in the US. Anyways, <laughs> we have a nice map. I think this is a map of the Cotswolds. Very cool. We've got a closet with some storage in here. Here's one of the bedrooms. So I think this would be called a single bedroom. Very, very tiny. But this is going to be like our luggage storage room. But I mean, look at this window and look at this view. Are you kidding me? What? This is the best day of my life. I keep saying that. I think I'm just gonna say that every day of this trip, honestly. I am obsessed with these. Oh my God, we need to do like some charity shop shopping or like vintage shopping, cause that's incredible. So this will be just a landing pad for all of our luggage, but a very, very cute, tiny bedroom. And then we have another small bedroom in here. And this is, I think a double bedroom. And this is where Drew and I are gonna be sleeping all crouched up together. We have a cute rug here. We have some nice chest of drawers, dresser storage, cute little art. I love all these art prints. We got some postcards. This is amazing. I think this might be like some storage, but I'm obviously not gonna open that. We got a little bedside table, a freaking adorable window behind the bed that shows the back garden. Like, look how cute that back garden is. I think I forgot to show it when I was in the kitchen. We'll go out there in a second. Also, it has a thatched roof. 
that is just the best thing. I'm, I'm, I'm truly in heaven. I love this bedding. Like, I love the quilt. The pillows are adorable. Like, this is just the ideal cottage. It's so cute. We have a bathroom in here. Here is, well, it's a shower room, technically. So just a toilet and a shower, that's it. And that is pretty much the tour of our cottage. I cannot believe how much I love this place. Like, it looked adorable in photos, and Drew and I went through probably, what, 20 different places mm -hmm. to try and sort through them and see where we wanted to stay. This trip was, like, not super last minute, but definitely just, you know, we planned it pretty quickly. Maybe, like, a few weeks, yeah. But um, we love it. We're so excited. There's a pub literally right across the street like when i say right across the street i mean like a hundred feet away so we made a reservation to have dinner there tonight and like have some drinks and stuff so that's gonna be really fun i think maybe in the meantime we're either like deciding okay are we gonna like relax and nap because um yeah i totally forgot that that was today that someone came into our hotel room was... and we were we did not sleep well last night at all we're exhausted we're jet lagged etc but I also just want to like see everything so we might go on like a little countryside walk and like walk around a bit i wonder if there's like a oh i think yes i think she does have like recommendations also the host has been so friendly she let us check in early i mean we didn't end up really getting here early. i think we got here like 10 minutes early sign the guest book before we leave. Like... yeah oh there's a guest book so yeah this place unbelievable um oh there's games down there nice Uno, Trivial Pursuit, Jenga. There's bananagrams too up there. Frick yeah. Well, there's like puzzles. Oh my God, you have everything you need here. We definitely need to come back and stay longer out here. I love it so much. Anywho, that's what we're up to. I just wanted to show you the tour of our cottage because this is just incredible. Like I am just so, so happy to be here. And this is like what we've been dreaming of. It's and it's so like nice. actually happening. It's so, so nice. Drew was like walking up and he was like, oh, my god he kept saying oh my god i was like i know it's crazy we're so happy i forgot that i was going to show you the back garden as well because i mean look at this hold on it's taking me a minute to get used to these doors but we're getting there now look at this freaking back garden are you kidding me neighbors have their window open so i'm gonna be quiet but what the hell look at this how is this real? This is unbelievable. It goes like all the way back there and then I think maybe there's a footpath. Like this is for real secret garden, like in real life. Ugh, I just couldn't be happier. Unbelievable. Just living my dream. <sighs> this feels so good. I'm so glad we did this. All right, it took us a full, almost two days of being in England to have a cup of tea. We don't know if we're doing it right, a lot of people are very particular about it, um, so actually don't watch this part if you're English, but we are quite excited. Um, we're having our first cuppa. Okay, let me know how I did. We brewed it for a few minutes. I squeezed the bag, squeezed the bag out, threw the bag away. Some people keep the bag in, but I threw the bag away and then I put in the milk. There is no sugar, unfortunately, they're out. So let me know how I did. Did I do it right? I used the kettle. I boiled the bag. We did not put the water in the microwave. We did not put the water in the microwave. I then squeezed the bag, threw the bag away, then put in the milk. Please let me know how I did. And also, is this a good color? Is this a good color? Let us know. This looks like a great color to me, but. Okay, now for some tea and maybe a couple Vickies. We decided to go out on a country walk. It's like not even doing it justice, how beautiful it is in person. There's like that little bench. We want to go sit on that. We're off to explore. Here is the Falkland Arms pub. This is where we're going to be having our dinner tonight. It looks so cute. And I think this might be a footpath or maybe someone's house. We're not 100% sure, but we're going to find out. Oh, it's like a big back garden as well. Cute. Oh, I can't wait. And there's the local cafe right next to the pub. That's where we're gonna have yeah, breakfast. Tomorrow. <gasps> okay, we'll have it Wednesday. We took some cute photos in front of some fall leaves, which was very exciting. 
sat on this little bench for the last like I don't know 10 minutes now we're gonna head inside freshen up and head to dinner welcome what'd you just say <laughs> you said welcome to my house oh just lovely we're on our long walk to the pub there's our place there's the pub <laughs> ideal if we didn't have a long day tomorrow i'd say let's turn up it's kind of cold i love it there's some bird screaming in the background and it's really cool <laughs> oh my god this is the best day of my life this is the best day of my life cheers oh out of focus okay cheers <laughs> Drinky drinks. Got the fire going. Oh my god. All right, we're back in the cottage. We're cozied up on the couch. We were gonna watch Netflix, but honestly, we're too tired. We're fall asleep right we've been going like nonstop pretty much since we've been here. And even Jasmine, Jasmine texted me this morning and was like, "Are you exhausted? Because I'm so tired." And I was like, "Yes." We're exhausted and we're jet lagged on top of it, but like just so grateful. It has just been such a fun trip so far. And oh my God, I can't even not even express how amazing that pub was. Like it was good. The food was good. We felt like we were in a movie. We just kept being like, are we in like a D and D game? Are we in Lord of the Rings? Like it truly felt like I <laughs> after my glass, after my large glass of wine, I was like, it felt like when, Trisha Paytas does her TikTok videos where she's like, hello there, traveler. <laughs> <laughs> where you coming from? That sort of, it was like a, it was like an old tavern that would be in like Dungeons and Dragons or, or something like that. We were texting our friends who Drew plays D&D with and we were like, oh my God, like sending pictures and stuff. It was just so cool. We don't really have a ton of that in the US, if any, especially like that old with that much history and like, we were definitely the youngest people in there by far. Oh, there was one girl reading her book. Mm -hmm. But we love pubs, as it turns out. Who knew? We're, we're pub people. You just get your pint and sit down. You just get your pint and you chill. Mind your business. You mind your business and everyone's so nice. So yeah, we really enjoyed that. I think we're going to book it again for tomorrow night because we're kind of staying in the middle of nowhere. It's a little bit hard to like go out to dinner and find stuff. I mean, maybe we could like get stuff at the store and cook it at home. That's a possibility as well, but yeah, we might just cause it's literally right across the street, book it again for tomorrow night. Um, but yeah, tomorrow is gonna be a really fun day because we are gonna be driving around and going to like maybe four or five different Cotswolds villages. So that's gonna be a fun vlog. We're um, kind of starting in one place and then like making our way down and then making our way back around and it's gonna be really fun. We have like a list of things we wanna see, things we wanna do. It's gonna be kind of similar to like when I went last year, but just maybe a little bit more extended because like and he and better because I'm here <laughs> <laughs> right of course because Drew's here so um we're really excited there's gonna be like some Lord of the Rings themed stuff we're gonna see like we're gonna do some afternoon tea again things like that so it's gonna be really fun it's like stuff that I already saw that I want to see with him and then also a couple new things as well so it's gonna be a blast but thank you for hanging out with us today maybe we'll show a little footage drew can film when i'm driving here Ooh. in the uk because it's actually i i actually i don't even think i've updated maybe i did a little bit but she it's scarier than i thought he said i did great i feel like tomorrow will be better because i'll just get more used to it mm. i just have to get used to like hugging a different side of the lane than i'm used to because i'm all the way here so i'm like I don't know, I'm used to veering to this side of the road. Anyways, you know what I'm saying. I think I'm gonna do okay, hopefully, fingers crossed. I mean, I did buy the full the full insurance, like the maximum most coverage that you could possibly get for a rental car. I think the most I would have to pay is like 100 pounds. So, I mean, I'm not gonna like rely on that, obviously, but um, we're protected, it's gonna be all good, but I'm excited. So maybe we'll show a little bit of that. And yeah, we're attempting to do laundry in this, um, Airbnb <laughs> and actually the dryer is obviously very different than like an American dryer So we put it on a dryer setting for an hour and a half. That's mm -hmm. like the typical Dryer time and it was like it steamed the clothes a little bit, but it definitely didn't dry them. So we actually have 
our clothes hanging here. And they're, I think they're a little bit drier than we thought initially. So hopefully by the morning they'll be nice and dry. But yeah, we have like all the curtains closed up. It's nice and cozy in here. We might watch something on Netflix, but we might just go to sleep. So I guess we'll catch up with you tomorrow. This is just gonna be like the most magical night. Although we are a little scared that like spiders are gonna crawl. There's spiders we've, everywhere. We've seen several spiders cause we're on the countryside. And just as long as it's not like a mouse, I think I'll be okay. So we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye.